You and me, we're gonna have a little chat, see? Maybe if you can guess what film that's from, I'll, I don't know, give you sexual favours of some description. What's up guys, uh, Chris here, and I have another bear gameplay. Uh, this one's Rush, and uh, he likes his search and destroy. And you can kind of tell he plays it a lot, this is a 192 gameplay. Uh, it's um, not overly uncommon, if that makes sense. Not overly, whatever. Uh, yeah, he gets pretty decent gameplays like this all the time. And, you know, I looked at his file share earlier, I thought, I wonder if Rush has any games for me. And wouldn't you know, it's got like 14 and 1, 11 and 1, there's 19 and 2. Uh, pretty much everything where he just carries his team throughout the whole game. But I'm not here to talk about the gameplay. What I really wanted to talk about, um, obviously there's, you know, I'm getting like, I don't know, 15 to 30 odd views per video. Which, you know, I can't complain at, but still it'd be nice if I had a few more. So for the few of you that are watching this, um, I'd like some ideas that you know, you think might catch on or might give my channel a bit of a kickstart. I mean, I've I had a few, you know, some people have said, some things have come up with, like, uh, you know, I think one person said to have, <clears throat> like, a sort of reaction montage. I think that would get more annoying than anything else, but hey, my throat's getting really sorry, hang on. <clears throat> my bad. Um, one thing that my brother suggested is uh, kind of like taking co-op to a whole new level and just uh, recording ourselves both gameplay and uh, controller like one person have one half the controller the other person have the other half uh, and try and get a good game like that obviously a good game constituting anything more than 10 kills and less than 10 deaths because I can't imagine getting much better than that not for a while at least but I mean you know with I, I can't decide whether I think that'd be good or not. I think it'd be a nice little thing for maybe a popular commentator to do for like his hundred video. Search and destroy. Oh, and I skipped the video here just because you obviously died. And the, the other guy that was uh, he was watching was pretty terrible. No offense, but he really was. Also, I feel like I should mention um, this is another commentary where my family's asleep. So I'm trying to talk quietly, but not trying to sound like gay or like an idiot. I'm trying not to be boring. I'm failing miserably. I can already tell that many of you have clicked off the video by now. But hey, in fact, if you're still here, let me know in the comments section. And uh, I don't know, I'll give out some more sexual favors. Oh, well, this just popped into my head. Uh, I don't know how other commentators do this, but I find it really hard to sort of talk and watch the video that's playing in front of me at the same time. You know what I mean? That could be like some sort of five-man feed and I wouldn't even notice because I'm also looking at the little bar that's going across the video recording my voice. I have no idea why. Maybe I just suck like that. Who knows? You know how most men can't multitask and there's me who can sort of look and talk at the same time. Well, that's just in you, though. After this, I'm just going to go drink myself into a coma. Anywho, um... I know I've already said two things for people to put in comments, but uh, the third one, I want to express how much fun I've been having in Drop Zone. I mean, I've already sort of mm, heard a lot of hate about it. Not on YouTube, actually. I haven't heard anything about it on YouTube. But when I've played it with people online, they hate it. They say the spawns are terrible, there's too much air support, and ugh, I wanted to slap them in the face. Okay, fair enough, it was one guy, but still, he annoyed me. Um, cause, I mean, with the spawns, you know, if you expect them to spawn on the other side of the map, it's not that kind of game mode. You know, learn the spawns, you moron. That's my, okay, that's my hate for the video. But, you know, everyone spawns pretty randomly. I mean, sometimes you'll spawn on the other side of the drop zone, sometimes you'll spawn on the opposite side of the map. And I've had people spawn right next to me, I've spawned in a cluster of people, it's pretty random, but if you're on your toes, then it doesn't matter. So on that subject, you know, one tip I can give out is having a pretty high sensitivity, you know, because, well, I suppose I do a fair amount of rushing in drop zone, but mainly uh, reaction times, because people are going to be spawning everywhere, and all, they always travel in groups, because I mean, drop zone, 
they all go to that one place. Not to play the objective, they want the kill streaks. That's the only reason. So in that sense, drop zones are a really good game mode because you know, they basically force you to play the objective by putting kill streaks there and by cancelling out your own kill streaks. So in that sense, I've had so many triples and quad feeds just walking up there, killing everyone trying to take a care package. I've had quite a few good games today, actually. I had like a 15, 28, well, that's not so much, but almost every game I played, I had 40 plus kills really easily. And that's playing the objective, too. I mean, a couple of days ago, you know, I was playing with my brother. We play a lot together, by the way. Um, we live in the same house, so it's understandable. But we were playing together, and I'd played Drop Zone a few times before, and I thought, okay, well, considering you know, everyone's going for that Drop Zone, it'd be a really good game to kill Hor. And it was. It still is, obviously. Uh, so I said, well, I've had a pretty annoying day, so I want to play Drop Zone and just kill Hor. And he said, fair enough, you know, he just, yeah, he did it. So props to him for that, of course. But he still got kind of annoyed because we lost a few matches. Not all of them, but we lost some. And at that point, I said, "Okay, well, I'm not as frustrated anymore because I kept on going like you know, twenty and four, and pretty good games. Not amazing, but pretty good." So yesterday, I think it was, maybe even today. I'm not entirely sure. Double feed with the FMGs. Try hard, bastard. Um, yeah. I went for the objective as well, and you, you, once you find the right spots, you can play the objective and kill Hoy. It's so much fun. I definitely recommend playing it, but anyway, I think this is nearing the end of the game. Yeah, there's like 30 seconds left. Oh, um, while I was recording, my TV is like on timer, so the screen sort of blacked out for a bit, and then I realized I sort of just rammed my hand, bleh, rammed my hand into the controller just to wake it up, but... I didn't want to go through another 10 minutes of recording just for that bit, so why the hell not? Like I said, some of you probably aren't even here by now. Anyway, now that Christmas is over, I should be uploading a lot more frequently. So until then, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!